Hi everybody, in this video Simon and I are going to demonstrate the I Miss Dambo patient handover. Why don't you take it away Simon? Thanks Ben. So um, a couple of tips and tricks before we start. Just remember with your I Miss Dambo it's about a patient handover, not necessarily your documentation. Um, so you really only need to give as much information as you need to get your message across. You don't have to be super thorough. Um, obviously it's got to include everything, but you don't have to be as thorough as your PCR. The other thing to remember is in, in real life, do we always follow I missed Ambo? No, it just doesn't happen. It's there okay. and when we need to use it, we use it. So uh, for example, if a patient's really acute and you're in recess, you got you know five or six nurses and two or three doctors around you, you might wanna follow this because you know everyone's expecting it and they need that information in the right order. But day to day sort of handover, you can vary as much as you need to be, as long as the person you're giving the handover to is, is comfortable and, and okay. can follow you. Okay. Um, so just, I guess, keep, bear in mind in real life, it's not, um, it doesn't always have to be like this. Um, to run through each aspect of I missed as well, I suppose identification wise, um, just try and give as much information as you can, but you don't always have that, particularly in a hospital setting. Um, they just have to be able to look them up on the system. So, you know, name and date of birth, and they'll probably say to you, you know, at this address, yep, that's it, we're done. Um, keep it succinct with the mechanism, try and focus on, you know, why they're here, what actually happened and the injury, what was the outcome of whatever happened. Um, same with signs and symptoms and treatment, um, just what's relevant. You don't have to give absolutely everything. Um, likewise for the um, AMBO part, any um, allergies really focus on giving um, not just what they're allergic to, but what the outcome is. Um, people get really hung up on that. I don't need to know, you know, you get a sore tummy if you have strawberries, for example. Um, what I really want to know is anaphylaxis and things like that. Okay. Um, so just reiterate there, if there wasn't a, a mild allergy, would you mention it there? Probably not. If okay. someone said, you know, it was, you know, I get a sore tummy with, with fish or something okay. like that, that sounds more like a side effect that I, I'm definitely not going to give you any fish. Right. Um, it's more about medications or any constituent of a medication that they might receive. Yeah. And definitely for anaphylaxis, they need to know all those kinds of things. Okay. Um, same with medications and past history. What are you taking now and what's the relevant sort of past history? I don't need to know okay. what happened when you were five years old and you fell off the playground, that kind of stuff. Um, so what we might do is we'll, we'll run through a handover so yeah. everyone can see what it looks like in, in real life. Um, so I'll hand over my patient to you if that's okay. So you can act as the triage nurse. Um, and you, would you be reading off your PCR? Yep. You, yep. Yeah. Or well, if you've got it like, um, on your glove, Case notes or... some people take a little notebook, which is honestly the best idea, yeah. but you know, right on your glove or out of your head once you've actually got it down pat. Okay. Um, so right here I have Joanna Doe, born 4th of the 8th, 1982. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in hospital, they'd probably be going, lives at 38 Cordham Drive, and I'd say that's the one. Um, Joanna's had an MVA, car versus tree. She was a single occupant. Um, it was low speed, under 30 k's an hour. She wasn't wearing a seat belt, um, fell asleep while driving. Injuries, um, query fracture, mid shaft to the right humerus, um, nil deformity um, and neuroobs are intact. Signs and symptoms, um, I mean, eight out of 10 pain when we arrived, that's down to two out of 10 now, post morphine, all our obs are normal, BP 110 on 80, heart rate of 72, normal sinus, um, respirator of 18, she's got a clear chest and her spine was cleared, um, no tingling, um, no altered sensation in, in that right hand and pulse. Um, treatment wise, we've given her five milligrams of morphine, last dose 10 minutes ago, and as I said, that brought the pain right down. She's obviously got the IV um, and we put on a splint and a sling. Okay, and at this point I would usually, you'd pause, mm -hmm. right? And yep. be copying those down, typing those in. Yep. Uh, asking any questions mm -hmm. or reiterate. Yep, but most likely you'll pause, the triage nurse will go, and you'll go, excellent, and keep going. Cool, okay. Um, so she's got an allergy to penicillin, which leads to anaphylaxis. She's on beta blockers, metoprolol, has a history of hypertension and high cholesterol. Now she lives with her husband, but can't remember his phone number, but wants someone to help her locate him so she can let him know. Okay. And then again, an opportunity now for you to ask any questions. Awesome, and that's it? That's it, simple as that. Excellent. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful watching that demonstration and um, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.